We now have two approximations for the final time, the time at which the cherry lands on top of the ice cream sundae. Using our time step of 0.2 seconds, our final time was approximated to be 0.5 seconds, and for the second time step, which was 0.1 second, our approximated time that the cherry would land on the ice cream sundae was 0.45 seconds. And what we want to do now is calculate a percent error between these two values. So that um, we'll type into cell B12 here is equal to the absolute value of the difference between the first final time value minus the second final time value divided by the first final time value and since I want this to be a percentage I'm going to multiply by 100 and we get an error of 10 percent and that's a pretty huge error so what that tells us is our delta t's the 0.2 seconds and the 0.1 second were really not good choices of delta t for this problem the idea is that the approximation becomes better and better as the time step gets smaller and smaller and so if we hit a good time step and cut it in half that's not going to change the value very much so what we want to do now is change our delta t1 and delta t2 until we can get an error that's something we are satisfied with and for this problem we will say that if we can get to an error of one percent um, we'll be happy so let's see if we can do that Let's go ahead and try some smaller time step values and see if we can get the error down closer to 1%. So our initial delta T1 was 0.2 seconds. Let's maybe try 0.02 seconds. And then of course our second delta T is going to drop to 0.01 seconds because it's just half as large as the first time step. And if we look at our error, it looks like we still have an error of 10%. But remember that we had to populate these cells um, by looking at the column, columns of position data. So let's go for time step one, which again is now 0 0.02 seconds. Let's scroll down and see where the position goes negative. So here after 20 time steps, we're at 0 0.04 meters. And at the 21st time step, we're at minus 0 0.04 meters so somewhere in between there we're actually gonna um, land on top of the ice cream sundae so somewhere between 0.4 and 0.42 seconds so we'll scroll back up here and enter a value of 0.41 seconds and then let's go over here to our time step 2 columns again this time step is now 0 0.01 seconds and we'll scroll down and look to see where we go negative so we've got a height of 0 0.02 meters after 40 time steps a height of minus 0 0.02 meters after 41 time steps so somewhere between 0.4 seconds and 0.41 seconds the cherry will land on the top of the ice cream sundae so again back over here we will put a value of 0 0.405 seconds and now let's see what our error, percent error is so we're at a percent error of 1.2 which is is getting really close to the 1% we were hoping to achieve. So let's try something just a little bit better. For our first time step, let's put in the 0 0.01. And for the second time step, then we get 0 0.005. So this is the value that we will have for um, the first time step. So let me just um, move that up here, so 0 0.405. Let's go see what value we get for the final time with the second time step. So over here in our time step two columns, we'll scroll down and see where we go negative. Okay, so here after 80 time steps, scroll a little bit more, after 80 time steps, we are at a height of 0 0.01 meters and after 81 time steps at minus 0 0.01 meters. So somewhere between 0.4 and 0 0.405 seconds um, is when the cherry will land on top of the ice cream sundae. So we will enter a value of 0 0.4025 seconds for that final time and now our error is 0 0.6 and we have dropped below 1%. So at this point, if we're really satisfied with 1%, error we can say that 
0.01 or 0.005 seconds are good choices for delta t in this problem. One last thing to point out, you'll remember in class we used a time step of 0.01 seconds and we calculated a value for y3, the position after three time steps. So here's step three, here's that y value, and you can see that it is 0.797, which is exactly what you guys calculated by hand in class.